John Rasmus here. I saw your critique of my flawless flat earth debunking videos, Mr. Brandon Young. I'm gonna totally debunk your debunking of my debunking. Your arguments are gonna be more toasted than Powder Toast Man's head. I'll tell you that much. Isn't that right, Mr. Powder Toast Man? The earth isn't flat. That's what I thought. Even Powder Toast Man agrees exactly with what I'm talking about. So your video, Brandon Young, let's check it out. Let's see how your video starts out. All right. Hi, YouTube. I see you're flashing a Masonic symbol. And you're holding it over your left eye. I see that you're the opposite spectrum. And as a matter of fact, I see that you're trying to use sunglasses as a way to look a lot cooler than me. Flat Earth Theory. Gonna go over some Flat Earth Theory, huh? I don't think so. Controversial topic. This is my first YouTube. One of them anyway. First official one, I guess. Is it his first official login to YouTube.com? His first official YouTube company? You gotta be more specific and put video at the well, end of that sentence. That's a response in a way to um, John Rasmus's uh, Flat Earth Trilogy. Um, it's not a trilogy. Play. It's a quadrilogy. There's four of them. So I assume you've only seen three. If you didn't notice, the quadrilogy forms a perfect square disproving the square earth. Bada bing, bada boom, proof positive, case closed. If you missed even one of the quadrilogy of the flawless quadrilogy of my Flat Earth Quadrilogy series, then you probably are incapable of debunking my debunking of the Flat Earth theory. But I'm gonna debunk your attempt at my debunk of the debunking because, bam, Richard Garriott, who was in the International Space Station and looked down, he saw, he told me on Twitter that in 90 minutes he orbited the entire Earth and he saw that it was a sphere. He was blunt about it. He's like, yeah, it's a sphere. Check out the tweet. I'll even post the tweet right here. Check it out. That was the biggest evidence of my first Flat Earth debunking video. My second Flat Earth debunking video showed the card by Steven Jackson Games in 1994 released this card. People laugh, but the Flat Earthers know something. Uh, no, they don't. But even this card in 1994 made fun of the Flat Earthers. We're talking 15 years before the Flat Earthers became a thing. It's pretty crazy. That was my second video. My third video was when I featured a book by Teresa Martin called Round Earth, Flat Earth by Teresa Martin. It had some amazing arguments, including this page right here, showing the, the really, really idiotic, uh, apologetic excuses that flat earthers use and showing the hard science, showing the obvious science over here. You know, flat earthers, they don't even know the shape of their flat earth. It's a flat, you know, pizza. Is it a deep dish square pizza? Is it a circular pizza? Flat earthers have, you know, some call it a, some say it has a big old hump like the back of a camel. Some say it is a big old uh, crater, like the meteor crater. Speaking of meteor crater, someone said, Meteors never landed on Earth. Goes against the flat Earth theory. Meteor crater. I live near Meteor crater. You know, maybe I should pop over there and film it. It's concrete proof that there is an outer space. These flat earthers get to the point where they don't believe any celestial body is even real, that they're all holograms. They get to the point where they think they're living on a flat table matrix that we are living in Tron Legacy and Jeff Bridges' character created all this. I don't think so. But let's get back to his arguments. Basically, it's when a whole giant deluge and uh, um, comes across 
the world of Arda. So Arda is a flat Earth. Next thing you're going to be talking about flat Earth being proven in the TV show Under the Dome. I was at Comic-Con 2000 whatever, and I was sitting right near the cast for Under the Dome. And I was really close to the bald guy. And I got to watch Under the Dome, the premiere of an episode, while behind the guy whose head is shaped like a dome. And I was watching Under the Dome under, next to the dome. It was a bizarre, totally surreal experience watching a guy watching himself on Under the Dome. It's more of a spiritual perspective where um, the, the map of the cosmos was circular, actually, and there were different rings around it, you know. Actually, and okay. Different around it. Different rings around it? What's this gang sign you're throwing up, you know? I'm not going to be intimidated by your gang signs, Brandon. I don't know what this means. What is this? The Flat Earth Society secret hand signal you throw up? It's messed up, son. Let's check that out. Let's do an instant replay of that. that. You would fall over on Flat Earth. They didn't think that. Um, it was more of a spiritual perspective where um, the the map of the cosmos was circular rings. and there were different rings around. around oh there. my gosh this is the secret flat earth hand signal everybody check it out this is the secret flat earth hand signal if you ever see anybody throw this up secret flat earth illuminati not intimidated by your gang symbols, Brandon. So, science is, is a big box now. Big paradigm. Science is in a box. You know what? Science is specifically not in a box. Because the fact of the matter is, science is in a secret chamber, okay? Not any secret chamber. We're talking about a super secret, super secret chamber. Maybe the king's chamber. And you get up in that super secret science chamber and you pull out some science and bam, that's where science is at. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Let's get back to your argument. Explain because, okay, here's the earth. Okay, you have a flashlight, basically, going like this. See my shadow there? That's the seasons. See, you? look, it's winter. Oh, it's winter. Oh, it's summer. It's summer. Oh, no, now it's spring. Oh, no, it's winter over here. Now it's summer here. Australia and New England. Yeah. So there you go. That's um. The seasons are created by. Uh, the shadow of the moon or something, and the the sun or whatever. It's pretty messed up stuff. That's literally the intelligence of the Flat Earthers. They believe in messed up stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Totally debunked the crap out of your entire... Wait a minute, I'm getting a phone call. Wow, this, uh, this never happens. I've never, uh, never got a phone call from this phone before. Let's check it out. Hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You want me to make 50 more Flat Earth videos? Anti-Flat Earth, negating the totally bogus Flat Earth theory being thrown out there? Yeah, theory in quotes. Um, 50? Dude, I don't want to make 50 more of these Flat Earth videos. I'm getting tired of the four that I've already made, the quadrilogy, as they call it. Fine, I'll make a couple more. Like, we're talking, I'll make three more tops. Four, five, six, seven. Seven is literally... Six more? Jeez Louise, dude. I don't want to make six more, but how, how much? How much per episode? I'll consider it. I'll consider it. I'll make the first three and we'll see how it goes. 
All right, bye. So that was the CEO of the Illuminati. And uh, for all those that still believe in the flat earth, even after my quadrilogy proving the flat earth to be bogus and the spherical earth to be the fact of the matter of the situation. I highly recommend all flat earthers to simply look at this screen for a few minutes. Just casually just check out the screen for a few minutes. Just I recommend you just, ah! Anyway, Flat Earth is a big fat piece of crap. Um, there are literally shills, I guess you want to call it, but they're the shills, not me. Uh, let's just put it this way. Uh, there are a lot of, I think it started as a meme, but at this point, even I'm convinced of the, I'm not a conspiracy guy. Even I think the PSYOP, the psychological operation, might be a, a valid, potentially reasonably believable option in this scenario because there's 44,000 new Flat Earth videos last month alone. 44,000. 44,000 false information focused videos on the f false shape of the planet earth uploaded to youtube last month alone someone is making a lot a lot a lot of money off of those 44,000 videos thor's day is a day where i start making new videos this is just a special extra special video day because of this guy harassing me and attacking me. And I'm gonna put a link to the, this guy's video in this video. And I highly recommend you don't click on it. I recommend you don't click on it. But if you do click on it, give a thumbs down to this guy's video. Give a big thumbs down. I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus with the John Rasmus channel. Be seeing you.